My name is Xavier, and welcome to a smashing grab of the... Whoa, whoa, how many... What? Okay, first of all, I'm not even paying attention to what's going on. Uh, first, 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 first. First before the first, we got six people here. Secondly, we have six chests here. Holy mother of hash browns. Friends, it has happened. It has happened. And we have an evac over there. There's uh, very light, so what's that, like 10, 11, or 12 enemies? I haven't played this game in a week, uh, which is very good because I'm super excited to play it right now. Uh, it has become one of the things I just need to play less often to maintain enthusiasm, but I will say I'm very enthused for the current moment. So let's do this. Let's get Bakes up here with our concealment. We'll look around uh, to the left. We'll look around to the right. There we go. We found some guys. Only two of them, apparently. We have an officer and a gunner. M3 and an M2. Plan is get in, get the six chests, and then run to the evac. We got plenty of time. There shouldn't be too many enemies. We have Josh Ross here. God, the game looks really nice right now. Looks nice and cool here in this climate. It's particularly hot where I am right now, so this is refreshing, in my opinion. Looks like we are going to activate if we move up too far. They are not on alert, however. So my plan here is let's move up. Hopefully they'll walk into us. It looks like we can at least move up to here, but I'm not sure about that officer is the thing. So let's, let's play it a little bit safe. We'll move one tile back. Looks good. We'll come up here to looking good. Let's get Simon up there. Wonderful. Up here with Gathric and uh, Josh Ross. Wonderful quick end turn. Come on, friends. Come over here and say hello. Sounded like a sectoid and a mech. Yep, they're coming to... I think they're coming to say hello. Yes! Beautiful. Josh Ross! Uh, no connection. Victor, it looks like he hit. Oh, Megan! Whoa! Megan just hit and killed that thing there. Also, Victor connected. Looks like we have the officer, however, who is going to make a run for it through the cover, unfortunately. Meaning Simon's probably going to come up short there. 12% graze. Yes, he missed. All right. Well, this is looking pretty decent. Can we move up here? We can. Bakes can actually move very far up here. I want to do that, but before I do, how am I going to kill this guy right now? Do we have any officers? One, two, three, four. Yes, we do. Bakes is an officer. He's got a command. I don't really want to blow a command on a single officer. How else can I deal with this officer? Well, uh, probably Megan could just run and gun arc thrower into this perfect corner cover if, if we absolutely had to. That would be one way to guarantee that he's pretty much taken care of. Uh, so with that being the case, let's move up as far as we can with Simon. See if we activate anything. I want to do a little bit of pre-scouting with Simon. All right, now that I've done that, I can probably safely move Bakes up to here, at least this tree. All right, looking good. Uh, I may want to use Bakes' command here. We'll see in a second. Simon, what's your chance here? 45, not bad. All right, let's move up, though, probably with everyone else first, just to confirm. Actually, I don't need to confirm anything. I don't need to confirm anything. Josh Ross could move up here. I could command him up there. We could shut it down with Megan. We shouldn't have an issue. All right, let's just let's just bank on the Megan shutting it down, and let's get everyone else into cover, uh, because we have been taking shots, so presumably there's something nearby that's on alert. 42 here. You know what? Before we do that with Victor, let's grab Simon, because he does have the scram gun. He can rupture it. 45 with 21 grenades. So go for it, Simon. God, he looks good. He looks good. There we go. We got the rupture. For seven, he even hit there. No grace. Fantastic. I could also also suppress if I wanted to. Do I need to? I don't know. Just in case, though, let's not use Victor's uh, first action. Let's move up here with Josh Ross. Or Victor's last action. We'll wait for that. See what Josh Ross can do. We got a 50 and a 17. Interesting. Let's go for two 36s with two 16s. But actually, no. The second one will have locked on, right? Oh, my lord. Josh Ross hit. And it only grazed. But so what? He's dead. Well... That happens. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. It's like I don't have to play the game. We'll move Megan up there. Uh, we'll move Catherick up here, let's say. And then you know what I'd like to do? We can do a double duty here. Oh, we can't. Bakes can't quite scout and grab that loot. We can scout, though, a little bit more. I heard something up here like pitter-patter and what, what to the right. Yes, there we go. For advent, and also I was going to say to the left, I heard something as well. I think a mech. I heard it wiggle again just now, but I don't know what. So one, two, that's four, so that's six, plus that's half the things on the map, plus whatever else is out there. Let's have Josh Ross probably just stay where he is. Victor move up. Uh, we'll get Catherick to move up as well. And otherwise, we'll overwatch and end the turn. All right, not bad. Are these guys on alert? It doesn't look like they are because they're not taking cover. They're coming down, though. Which is actually going to be fantastic for me if I... Oh, if I don't activate. I should have moved Megan out. 
because she's the one who spotted. Everyone else was blocked by high cover. However, they weren't on alert, though, so... We don't, um... We don't have to suffer any reaction shots. However, in order to get Bakes out of here, we're gonna need to kill probably all of them. And that's gonna be a tall order with what's going on right now. So my thinking is, let's blow one of, uh, Catherick's grenades here. Right? Let's knock down all this stuff, all this trees, all these guys, all the frigging rocks, all the everything. 0.76 tiles, go for it. A boom. Okay. Order just completely and utterly miss. No, we're not going to give you our gold friend. But we did kill the cover of one of them, which is nowhere near what I was hoping for there. All right. It may make sense. Pop up a free reload here in Simon. We do have the ability to throw out a free flashbang. We could also use our shredder. Now it's probably a very good time to do it. Actually, yes. Let's go for it. Rapid deployment. We'll throw out the flashbang just in case something goes awry. We can hit all four of them. Beautiful. Then I'll just immediately go to a shredder. Hopefully we can take out those rocks in the back and the cover. We'll soften everything up there. This is some uh, pretty, pretty awesome stuff here. Boom. 7-7. Seven, seven, eight. Huh. Fortunately, though, no cover destruction. That's what I really need. Josh Ross, free reload. Victor can suppress. Megan's got a free reload. We can move her up here and probably take down one of them, maybe. I don't want to get too aggressive. Keep in mind, I also may want to grab this loot. I want to keep Bakes' concealment, so it might make sense to come up here and blow the running gun to get over there. Or something like that with Megan. Or move her up here, grab the loot, and then shoot this guy. Grenadier can't do very much. Josh Ross, almost assuredly... Could move up here, kill one of them, and move, but that's not going to help us too much. He can also only move here. Okay. And then I suppose Victor... Interesting. That gunner's going to be uncontrolled in the background there, and there's nothing I can really do about it then. All right, I think Megan has to come up here and maybe arc pulse this guy in the back. If nothing else, shut him down completely. The grenadier probably won't do very much. The gunner will have to suppress... Josh Ross will have to kill this doofus. And, or I could just take shots here. We got a 66 right now, but then I got nothing. Well, if I take the shot with Josh Ross, I can then move up, but I'm not going to get any flanks. Well, if I move Megan, I will. Although, according to this, I can move through Megan? How the hell is that possible? I don't know. All right, let's first find out what happens when we move Megan up here. No activations, right? Yes. Now, let's see if Josh Ross... Oh, the whole point of that was to move Josh Ross up there. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, ooh, I could move down here with Josh Ross, but still not get a flank and we'll be short by a tile. Do we have Oscar Mike? Is the question. Answer, yes. So I could shoot with Josh Ross, get the implacable, move down to here and shoot this guy. But I got to get the kill to get the implacable. And that's going to be a 79%. And if we fail, well, we'll still be all right. Let's see what happens. All right, Josh Ross, a go for it. 66 with 13 in the open. Nice. There we go. A little bit of the old implacable. Let's see, he has Bakes here to toss up on his first action a Oscar. Wait, first, let's verify Josh Ross is in the command range. He is. Great. Oscar Mike. Boom. That's action el numero uno, as they say. Uh, we will now take Josh Ross's free implacable move. We'll come down here to the high cover, I suppose. Shouldn't activate. I guess I could have. I didn't think about that until just now. But this is half the things in the map, plus one pot out there. Whatever's left probably was not here because uh, that would be... That would mean everything's, like, right in the front, which would be kind of crazy. Let's pop a Fortify just in case. I really want to make sure Josh Ross does not die here. We got a 94. Now, that's not terrible, but it's also not 100. Let's do 269s with 10. So we got a, what is that, 7? Oh, never mind. He's dead. Did you see that one? Critical hit, <laughs> no less, on top. All right. Now, can we move Bakes? Yes! Oh, my hash browns, friends. Okay, that being the case, let's move up here, then. Uh, with Victor. We're going to suppress that gunner in the background, who's also suppressed. We'll grab this loot as well. Fantastic. We got a stock. This suppression should be able to knock out that gunner with Victor's uh, suppression spec. We'll have Megan here, probably. She got a 60% to shoot, or she's got a 96% to arc pulse. Let's go for that. Lock this guy onto the ground. Beautiful. Then we'll move Bakes back, and making sure he doesn't lose his concealment uh, under any circumstance, and to grab the other piece of loot at the same time. Advanced conditioning. A wondrous time, indeed. All right, well, this suppressed flashbanged gunner is going to take a shot. Oh, 30. Wow. At Catherick, 30% with eight. Wait a minute. 
What the hell is wrong with this game now? Oh, come on. You Well, okay. Well, the gunner missed. But it's according to this, the game says that Catherick is exposed. Despite the fact that he's clearly in cover, very clearly, that wasn't exposed odds because he was flashbanged and suppressed, and he had like almost a 50% to at least graze Catherick there. What is with this game? Look at this. This is cover, but that's flanked, and this is flanked. So these are broken tiles. Once again, broken tiles. Whew, good thing I took a week off of this game, because wow. All right, well. It's not the end of the world right now. Let's move Megan up here. We're probably maybe going to activate doing it, but we'll see what happens. We can always run and gun out if something goes horrifically wrong. <gasps> we did activate on a turret, but there's something else inside that's very big and scary looking. Okay, we didn't activate on whatever it was, but we know it's in there. So that's something to keep in, to keep in mind. Victor, could you shoot the turret? Yes, you could. You can probably take that down, but I would really rather have you on Overwatch. Who else could kill the turret then? Uh, from the looks of it, Pretty much a no one. Simon could come up here and take down this guy. He could not shoot the turret. All right, let's get Simon up here then. Looking good. We'll have him try to take down this doofer over there. We got a 68 with 10, 6 to 11, and go for it. Nice. I didn't actually expect that to work, but Simon, critical hit. Boom, dead. I got to be careful with Josh Ross. If I come over here to the right, there's a chance we can activate through that window. Uh, is there any chance I can hit the turret with Josh Ross? Yes, but only if I run into the Oblivious Void and probably activate doing it. So I may want to be a little cautious here with Josh Ross. We may actually want to dash over here and command him to shoot the turret twice if we can't kill it with Victor. I would like to use Megan here to take this guy down completely. 95%. Wow. That's actually really terrible. Okay, that's not going to be a complete takedown then under nearly any circumstance. Uh, I could also throw out a concussion rocket, but now I'm thinking that's not necessarily going to hit Megan with the smoke. It may be well enough to finish off the grenadier or the rocket. What is this guy? Gunner. It may be enough to finish off the gunner if Megan doesn't kill it, though. So let's go for it. 95% with five grizz. Yep, she doesn't kill it. We only hit for six. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Not very happy about that one. Uh, Josh Ross, 1918. Interesting. Victor does not have shred. Victor could come over here and flank that gunner and probably take him down. And Victor cannot hit the turret unless we move up here. Josh Ross could dash over and almost assuredly take out the turret. Although he does have a scram gun, so his odds of hitting are not very good. And there's also a half decent chance if I were to take three shots, we do have locked on with Josh Ross. Right, 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 right. I don't actually think we do. Implacable. Dead shot. Quick study. No, I don't have locked on. I thought that I did. Huh. Okay. So we'd have 19, 18. That's like 40% almost, 37%. We'd have three chances here. Three chances to hit a 37%. That should be good. And Victor could either suppress the turret or shoot the turret or shoot the turret command overwatch, which would actually be great. If he could kill the turret, that is. He could chain shot the turret. I do feel like Victor could take down the turret, one way or another. Let's move Victor up here and see if we activate. Let's see if we have both options. Yes, we do. 97, 84. I'm thinking, what's this damage? 8 to 13. That's not enough, but we do have a chain shot. We have a 74 with 16 grays. That's a 90% to hit the first one. Let's go for it, Victor. Take down the turret. Perfect. Now, I'm going to use Josh Ross where he is to go for these three shots. 37% times three, Josh Ross. Okay. Number one's a hit. But only for four. Pop a free reload. Actually, he doesn't have... I'd have to do rapid fire, which would give us two 22s. Nyeh. That's not really what I'm looking for. I guess I could toss out this concussion rocket here. And this makes a lot of sense because maybe some of our guys will get some smoke and I, I think that another pod's gonna come out here they're gonna be on alert they're gonna see us they're gonna shoot I don't know if we'll get any smoke I'm kind of doubting it but let's find out uh, Catherick point six four tiles please hit the gunner and kill it and give all of our guys some smoke uh you hit the gunner for one and stunned it and how how many of us got the smoke according to this zero all right well you know I mean as far as Odds go. That's what I was expecting. Things to never work at all. Uh, let's get Bakes up here now for some Scouty McScouts a lot in that general direction. 
All right, disorient remove. Whatever this is, has got to come out now. It's something big. I didn't... Oh, 30 hit points with three armor? What the heck could that be? Am I seeing that right? Well, I know it's in there, whatever it is. It looked like exactly two things to me. I do have a fighter grenade here, and I also have the ability... Oh, wait a minute. I have one more turn on rapid deployment. Do I want to wait one turn and open with a flashbang on them? Maybe. I'd actually really prefer to have some smoke coverage. I mean, if I move anywhere, I get the smoke. I feel like smoke just doesn't have an update like it's supposed to. Let's have Victor... Uh, well, hmm... Yeah, let's have Victor move a tile, get into the smoke, and then Overwatch. I'm gonna have pretty much everybody here just kind of relocate. We'll have Josh Ross, or maybe Simon, actually. He needs to relocate as well, get into the smoke. Beautiful. Uh, from this location, we can probably have him finish up over there. Megan, I think, has half-decent uh, Overwatch odds. So we'll have Simon take this guy down 98%, even through the smoke. Beautiful, Simon. Simon's just an all-around awesome utility guy, it would seem. Let's get Josh Ross to dash down here behind the tree. Megan can overwatch. Uh, Bakes, we probably want to move up here. See what see what that stuff is. 30 hit points with 3 armor. Oh! Muton Elite. I don't know why I didn't realize what that was. It's pretty obvious what that is. What else could have 30 hit points with 3 armor? <laughs> like, literally just a Muton Elite. Let's dash down here with Catherick. We'll get ready to go loud next turn. And that's 8 out of up to 12 enemies. Yeah, they're not, not, not even moving, interestingly enough. If I move up, Peter, I can now see that I'm going to activate on them, so... Maybe actually, thinking about it now, I don't need the flashbang. Because I can probably toss a free reload here on Simon. I can probably burn them both if I could find a... Well, you guys know pixel hunts, though. <laughs> you know the pixel hunts, though. Okay, let me grab Bakes here. Let's uh, kind of semi-carefully move someplace where we will see the Muton, which is over here. And maybe see the snake. No, we don't see the snake. But we can see the muton can't see here. Let's move Bakes up there. A little bit of a risk. Okay, finally. We now know where the snake is. I know where the muton is, so I may be able to clip them both. Oh, right there. There we go. Let's go for it. Simon, a boom, as they say. Fighter grenade right on the muton elite and the snake. Hey, guys. Five and a four. Looks like we've got a burning on... Muton Elite. Awesome. God, that guy looks good. What are you guys going to do, huh? They can't come... Oh, and the snake's burning too once he moves. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy about that result. Uh, so we get one turn to really figure out what we want to do here. And I would definitely, definitely, definitely like to move up with a lot of people. I don't want to move into low cover, though, because there's at least two more, maybe four more things on the map. We'll move Megan up a little bit. We don't really have very good shots here. Um, Simon, or not Simon, Victor can move up to this high cover here. I know I'm moving out of the smoke, but I'm moving into high cover, so it's probably... Oh, I shouldn't have moved Victor. We can solo suppress one of them. I'm sure one of them's going to move. Probably both of them. The snake has uh, rapid uh, lightning reflexes most likely, so let's suppress the muton. Actually, that's an, is, that an M, is that an M1 snake? It might be an M1 snake, in which case it wouldn't have anything of value. Just going Overwatch here with Megan. Josh Ross, you really don't have a lot of options of going Overwatch with you. Uh, we'll get Catherick up here as well. Just getting everyone closer. And a bit of the old Overwatch. That's not a bad turn. Alright, Burns for one. Burns for two. Come on, guys. Make a run for it. You're on fire. That's all you can do is run. Or hunker, I guess, right? Snake's gonna slither. And slither back to the door. Muton does make a run for it. Victor's like, haha, my name is Victor. I hit you for nine. Josh Ross, a little poke through the window there. Hits for two with a graze and also a shred and also a rupture and also Catherick. And Catherick misses. But we're okay, all things considered. Now, from this tile here, I can flank the Muton. And as I recall, from this tile or, or this tile, actually, no. Because this snake went to that. Co corner right there. He's got double high cover in two directions. That's going to be mildly annoying. All right, let's take down the Muton Elite first and see what else happens in the meantime. We'll get Josh Ross in there. We're going to activate here by chance. Answer? No. All right, well. I could have sworn I heard a mech at some point. Do I have any scanners of the scanning variety? Not of the I forgot about them and didn't use them variety, which is 
pretty much the only thing I do with scanners. Hmm. No, I don't have any. Well, someone's going to take down the snake. Let's... Well, Victor really can. He's got to reload and stay where he is. Uh, Megan could go through the door and get close to the snake and probably maybe get a shutdown on it, possibly. Megan could also get over here. Uh, Victor, probably the smartest thing to do is Overwatch. Simon. Let's move Simon up here and try to get some vision on someone. Something. Nope. No such vision. All right. Well, let's use Josh Ross here to evaporate this muton. 55 with 9% graze. Rapid fighter at times two. Nice. Josh Ross, El Numero Uno, and Dos. Did he, he missed. Okay, but he is down to two hit points, completely shredded. We have a 66% chance for him to burn to death, which I don't feel super confident about. Let's move, Ka or, yeah, let's move Catherick up to this door. I don't think I really want to open the door right now. I didn't realize I'd have a flank there on the muton. I think I will, will, hold on. Can I burn through here if I were to open the door? I'm pretty sure I could, but then I'd risk activating by opening that door and seeing a lot of stuff. I may be better off just letting the, nah. let's open the door. Oh, the snake is here. I thought the snake was there. How the, how can, first of all, how can I not see the snake with Catherick with a step out? Honestly, I'm kind of concerned if that's broken. Let's find out if it's broken. Yes, it was broken. Another bug. All right. <laughs> We're playing for two minutes. I've got two bugs already. Uh, actually, three because of the smoke, but it's all right. It's all right. I can handle it as long as I only handle it. Why is Victor not having vision on that snake? All right, Simon, there we go. Simon, 57, 15. As long as I don't have to encounter too many bugs on a weekly basis, bloody hell. What's that, like 73 miss? All right. Well, Catherick, what's your chance to take down the Muton? 70%. We could move over there with Megan and take down the snake like 100%. We could also just burn around the corner and add more to burning, but I kind of want to save the burning for something else. Your chance to take on the stake is 98%. That's probably good enough. Alright, let's get Megan up here then. We'll go for a flank on the Muton Elite. Ooh, that's pretty bad. What about a, a stun? We got a 92. You know what? Let's actually stun it. We'll play it safe here. Okay. Muton Elite's no longer a concern. However, what is a concern is this snake. So Catherick has a 98% to at least graze it. That should be enough with the burning to kill it. I don't think I need to blow a flamethrower here. So let's go for the 80% with 18 graze. Didn't kill it, did graze it, it looks like. No, actually we just absolute mineral, but the snake will die. We're fine, Overwatch Victor. And then, and then Bakes. I don't know what to tell you, actually. I'm a little scared to move. Uh, because I don't know where anything is. Let's just go on Overwatch. This guy burns for five. Apparently, burning does affect the rupture, so I didn't even need to stun it. Where's the last pod? Starting to get cooked. Fire's getting close here. I hate it when they don't give you sound indicators and they're super quiet, because all that means is like it's going to be right up here, and I jump up and I instantly, instantly get evaporated somehow. Um, let's run inside with bakes. Really. Really. Let's go to this corner. Double corner cover. Nothing. Josh Ross, reload. Catherick, grab that loot. Okay. How far do I have to go? Like, let's say two turns dashing out there. I got five turns, plus one to call, plus one to drop. So seven turns. I'm feeling kind of scared, though. So my plan is let's just, like, move up a little bit with everybody. I'll hunker with anyone else. Uh, Megan will get you up there. Good. Simon Overwatch. Josh Ross Overwatch. Megan Overwatch. Let's get Victor up here. Hopefully I get some indicator. Nothing. I actually, I might have heard something out here. Might have heard a footstep out there. Well, I'm loath to do this. Let's make the, the biggest move first. Okay. Let's move Bakes out here and open the door. Nothing. I'm pretty sure they're out there to the right. And if that's the case, I may have the, an opportunity here to just grab like a whole bunch of loot or um, chests like right now for free and still go on Overwatch with everybody. So we'll put uh, Victor on that one. We'll, I don't really want to have Simon so. someplace like super dangerous. 
I'll move back here with Bakes. Of course, if I grab the loot with him, his turn ends. I'm really scared about the one up the stairs, though. Megan can probably run over there. Uh, where are the other ones? Oh, there's one down here. Catherine can get, and then I can get Josh Ross ready to get up to that next one. Let's get Josh Ross inside there. But not go upstairs, and we'll get Catherine over here. Next turn, I can literally grab every single chest. Let's grab this one with Victor right now. Let's overwatch with him just in case. He's in the back, so I probably shouldn't have to worry about him getting shot, but I think it's safer to leave him in the open on overwatch because he's almost guaranteed to hit to shut down a reaction shot. Really? Okay. So... I gotta kind of break concealment now. I've got most of the chests, right? <laughs> Let's get someone up here, like maybe Catherick, just to look around. Nothing. All right. I can handle that. Let's get Josh Ross up there to grab it. Let's get uh, Catherick here to run back down towards the evac. No activation. Okay, we'll open the door. <laughs> this is the weirdest freaking thing. We'll dash up here with pretty much everybody. Got your stuff here. Okay, it's just Bakes now. And we've got everything everywhere. Let's just overwatch. I don't want to move him out because I'm going to lose concealment to do it. So what the heck? Victor, go scout. Where is everything? I don't get it. Tired of waiting around. What's over there? Am I going to find it anytime soon or? No problem, boss. What did I kill? I've killed eight things. Yeah, this is... No, there's definitely still something left on the map. Like, 100%. Still something on the map. Um, well, there goes our concealment. We'll just dash out here with Bakes. Uh, hello? There we go. And we'll quick end turn here with everybody. Okay. Well, I was right. I did hear them out there, and there... Oh, and there was a mech, and here they come through the window. Josh Ross! I think most of us have cover. One of us does not, but I don't think they'll be able to get a shot there. Victor, I got no idea. Oh, nice. Double hit there. We got a... Oh, M3 officer and an M2 mech, it looks like. Ooh, the mech's down to eight hit points as well. And that's... Okay, reaction was the officer going for a hollow there. And they did actually, uh, after moving, have a flank on Megan, but rather than take the shot, the officer went for a mark. Ooh, that's a stroke of luck. Now, I need to be out of here in like two turns, right? But this is some pretty serious loot that I could potentially be giving up. I only wish there was a way to jump through this window, because Josh Ross could just walk up here and evaporate that officer. Uh, we could easily probably kill the mech. Nobody can see the officer. Can I blow up this wall somehow? I do have another rocket. I'm thinking of just using the rocket right here with Catherick to allow Josh Ross to get in there to evaporate that guy. And this could be everything on the map. It, it very well could be. Another thing I could do is just launch a rocket down here and hit all these guys and blow up all their cover, but then Josh Ross can't get in there. However, what if he just dashed? He, uh, he could easily dash in there and then with, an, with a command and then both barrels the guy's face and then implacable out of there, even with all the doors and the walls. And I do still have the command, right? Yes, I do. Can I hit Josh Ross with it right here? Yes, I can. All right, well, all that being the case, so let's just go straight for it then. We'll get Catherick's uh, rocket, like, right in the middle here. We'll take out the Overwatch, so I don't have to deal with that. We'll take out whatever random covers are in the way. Nice. We'll take out our FPS, because we didn't need none of them anyway. Those things are for losers. Uh, somehow we shot through the wall. Nice. Catherick did blow a hole in the wall, just big enough for, for Josh Ross to get in there. He, however, still is going to need the commands to, to really get the 100% shot, unfortunately. Uh, that was so close to really awesome, though. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's, uh... Do I want to take a sh a s some other kind of action? Yes, let's toss up a get some here with Bakes. Just for the heck of it, we'll toss up a command now on Josh Ross. Looking good. Uh, Josh Ross, if you wouldn't mind running in there with uh, two of your three moving points. 
Just in case something goes horrifically awry. Let's toss up a fortify. And then... Oh, good lord, guys. Good lord, guys. Josh Ross! Both barrels. Listen to the screams. Body shield and an advanced suppressor. There's our implacable. Just like I wanted. Uh, Victor, 73 with 12. 85%. Take down the mech. Any more loot there? Uh, no such luck. Let's move straight on back with Josh Ross. And then pretty much the rest of the squad can tootle through their way and get out of here the next turn. Uh, next, a turn. I'll do a couple more over... Oh, what the heck? I found something. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. I thought I had more action points, uh, but I didn't. Never mind. Overwatch. Bringing in reinforcements. Is that everything on the map? I don't know. Could be. We can't quite get out, though, but we can get most people out, I think, this turn. So we'll, we'll be fine to get out of here next turn. We'll dash Victor. Looking good. Megan, we can dash you up there. Great. Uh, you know what? Just in case, maybe I'll take up cover over here. Dash over there with Robert and Josh Ross. And that's it. I'm really curious if that was everything, though. Oh, hey, friends. We got a Grenadier, a Stun Lancer, and a Muton, a Centurion. Nice. Megan hit. Simon miss. Other these things matter. If... All right. More stuff is incoming. I suppose there's not even any kill experience to be had here, so let's just get everyone out. Get them on out. Uh, assuming that was everything. I thought there was going to be 12 enemies for some reason, but... If they are, they're sneaky, and they deserve to live by virtue of being cowards. Absolute cowards. Regardless, it's been a while, but it's been... A flawless victory. And yes, that was indeed everybody on the map. Wow. What a freaking smooth operator mission that was. We just strolled right in there. Killed every... Did, did they even... Yes, actually... Actually, I was gonna say, did they did they get to manage to take one single shot? And they did, but it was a completely bugged out shot uh, against the guy against Catherick, I think, who was exposed even though he was behind cover. That is the only shot I believe the AI even took, and frankly, they wouldn't have took it if it weren't for a bug in their favor. If I if I'm remembering this correctly, is there? Yeah, because everything else was locked down, locked down, killed, killed, no shots. The officer could have taken a shot instead of Mark on Megan when she was exposed. Uh, so that's a stroke of luck. But then again, it was a stroke of um, unluck that Catherick was exposed and got a shot at him in the first place. So, uh, there you have it, friends. How to get all loot, uh, take no wounds, kill all guys, get all gear, and get maximum XP. All in one mission uh, played by me. He all-star MVP player. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit him. Let's keep it up, Commander. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. I think maybe Simon. He he locked down that entire squad with a flashbang. Not that it, well, I guess it mattered because Catherick was apparently exposed and got shot at. Uh, so there was that. He locked down the Muton and the Snake with the with the grenade. He hit one of the guys at the end that made no difference, but it just looked cool. He applied a rupture to something at some point, I think. Uh, I think he performed in a very diverse and varied and cool-looking style. Which, you know, I mean, that, that might be worth the uh, key all-star MVP player here. Victor also performed well, but he always does. And of course, Josh Ross... He, he always does. You can't give people MVP for being normal. It just doesn't, you don't, like, when you got all the trophies, you don't need no more trophies, as they say. It just becomes an annoyance trying to store them all. Like, I've gone through that before. And you just end up throwing them out because who cares about trophies? And then when trophies, you throw them all out because you get so many, you get annoyed that you're just killing the planet, making trash all the time when they're giving them to you. And you're like, guys, please stop giving me the trophies. Like, these are the conundrums that Josh Ross... Whoa, Josh Ross is a master sergeant! Well, forget conundrums, he's gonna... Ooh. 
Meta Combat Fitness. As if he didn't already have enough of everything. Now he's going to have even more of all the things. Plus one mobility, four aim, two hit points, four will, four to dodge. What a fantastic perk. Absolutely lootly. Look at Josh Ross now. Nine health, 18 mobility, 81 aim, 97 will. The guy is just a maniac. Six dodge even. He's not negative. That's good. Zero defense. He's survivable, he deals the damage, he's super versatile. My favorite, my favorite kind of a guy. And Catherick here, lucky to be one of the uh, recent promoteers. That's a word uh, that's still alive after the last mission. I think what we're gonna do is, uh, it's gonna give him formidable because let's keep him alive into the future, shall we? Ooh, 45 alloys, 52 supplies, 29 Illyrium. If I'm not mistaken, that is literally perfect. I mean, I, I'm low. I think I'm super low on alloys, very low on supplies, and moderately low on illyrium. And I got a uh, proportional distribution. That is a fantastic mission result right there. Like, really, 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 really fantastic. That's like more overall results or uh, supplies and equipment than I would expect from like a supply rate. We also got a body shield, advanced suppressor stock, advanced conditioning plus three, uh, advanced stock, and oh, the advanced suppressor is fantastic, and the lanium core on top. This is just great. Great times all around. All right, now. Now it's time for the obligatory, I don't know what the hell's going on, and yet somehow I still managed to crush this game without even trying uh, by not knowing how the strategy works. All right, we have Josh here who got aim. Hunker down gives a rapid deployment as a gun. Ooh, Shadow Strike. Interesting. Shadow Strike Iron Curtain could be really interesting. Let's leave him alone for a second, because we also have Hexagon here who got Resilience, unlocked Ghost Walker as a gunner. Okay. Ooh, Locked On is awesome. Also, that would be great for Chain Shot. Uh, let's and Rapid Fire. Let's look around, though. What do I need to do here? We have a UFO. Now, I'm pretty sure that I think that this UFO, I could literally just scan until we're 100% here on the HQ. But, what if I'm wrong? Uh, I really don't want to have the campaign end on the UFO. Then again, the UFOs are so stupid. Like, half the time you just shoot Sniper across the map once and you win. Uh, so, then again, I have very few, very few people available. If they're, well, yeah. Well, I guess the wounded can come out and fight. We're not gonna... How long until this neutralized target? Two days, seven hours, five days. I think I was gonna over-infiltrate that. Yeah, that's strength seven. I think I'm planning for that going five days, maybe. So, with that being said, I think the safe move is to boost the HQ and run it now. The probably smart move is to just run the HQ to 100% and then play the HQ. But I think there's only like a single digit, like two to three percent chance of that UFO actually invading. Wait a minute, is that the first UFO of the campaign? I think it is. Which means I think it has a much higher chance. Or not, because... I think the first... No, I don't think that's true. How the hell does this work now? I think the first UFO that spawns from a... Golden Path mission has a very high chance to intercept. And following UFOs that spawn normally don't. But I don't think the first one that spawns from a dark event has a very high chance to intercept. I could be wrong. Regardless, instead of sitting here doing nothing for hours, not knowing what I'm doing, why don't I just do this? Let us boost this. We'll play it safe. I've got 63 intel. I've got a million things I can scan for intel. Let's scan for like that long. 66, one Pablo's recovered from wounds. Let us indeed boost it. Voila, 101%. We're looking at swarming. Swarming, really? What the heck does swarming even mean? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's like 33 exactly. 30, 31, 30, I think it's 33, 34, 35. Okay. All right, well, that's fine by me. So we have a strength three HQ. Let's go gear up a few things so I don't forget at the next, the end of the uh, next episode. Who's gonna go in here? I suppose I could put Josh Rod. What? How have I, idiot? what, end formidable? How have I not trained these things? Holy mother of heavens. I think he also has, uh, he has quick study. That's crazy. Philippe, Lone Wolf, Covering Fire. Reaction shots confer an aim malice on enemies and cannot be triggered by enemy action. That's pretty terrible. 
Uh, I might want to go Lone Wolf. Victor, what do you got? Bombardier and Deep Cover. If you did not attack. If you do not attack this turn, hunker down. All right, that could be useful to keep Victor alive, or I could go for Lone Wolf. Megan could also have Shredder. Yeah, let's do that. Shredder on her sounds really good. Do I have any officers to train up before I go in here? Gunner, 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 Grenadier Technical. Catherick probably bakes. Bakes has enough. Let's go for uh, Catherick here. Let's go Oscar Mike. Beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. Was there anything to... Um, any missions I wanted to do? I actually completely forgot about them. Two days recover item. Six days smash and grab, but that's going to be light. I think I'll pass. Neutralize target we're doing. Uh, HQ we're doing. Um, hack resistance computer we're not doing. We have a six day hack over here, but again, light moderate. No thank you. And we have the facility over there. So no, nothing to queue up, nothing to do. All right, well, that's the episode. Not bad. Not a bad. When's we returning? It's going to be a nine-man HQ. The most people I've ever brought to an HQ against the smallest force I've ever had to fight in an HQ. Uh, it's also going to be strength three, and we're on November 4th. This should be pretty steamrolly. However... I did play this mission, and we ran into three bugs already, so HQs are still going to be very long. It's still going to be at least an hour and a half, uh, which means that's an hour and a half of opportunity for 18 million bugs to present themselves, and something terrible could happen. Oh, yeah! Like, wasn't the last HQ? Didn't the Andromedon bug out on the roof somehow, and then, like, killed... I know Julian was killed, but someone else... Oh, I can't remember now. Like, the punch through the face. Ah, how can I not remember who it was? I can't remember. Um... Huh. Well, I'm good at memory, that's for sure. Anywho, when's we returning? It's gonna be this thing. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Looking good. Uh, Josh Ross, if you wouldn't mind running in there with the two of your three movement points, just in case something goes horrifically awry, let's toss up a fortify. And then, oh, good lord, guys. Good lord, guys. Josh Ross, both barrels. Listen to the screams.